Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little special as you can see by the title. And uh, as I was going through the ideas as to what video should I make, uh, I realized that I haven't done many makeup challenges. It was just one that my brother does my makeup and I have done food challenges. So I thought let's do a makeup challenge. So yeah, let's get into it. So I have a few chits with me here and each chit has a makeup item written on it and the rules are that I have to put on makeup in that particular order, the order in which the chits come out and I cannot go back to that product once again. So sim as simple it is, let's just get started. So I've just put my hair back and prepped and primed my skin before because I don't want to be putting primer on my foundation and blush and everything. So yeah, prepped and primed. Primer is not included in the product, so yeah. So let's pick up my first chit, and this is just a random order. I am not looking into them, so yeah. The first thing is a blush. So yeah, we'll be putting on blush first. Now it is up to me if I put powder products or cream products. So yeah, it depends on which order the products come in. If the blush come first, it's a cream blush. So the blush I'm using today is the My Glam Clean Beauty Cocoa Butter Lip and Cheek Pencil in the shade French Rose. So yeah, I'll be putting this on. The only uh, issues uh, or like uh, the things that I'm scared about is here. That is uh, my compact or my loose powder before my foundation and my uh, concealer before my eye products. So the problem is that I don't have a problem with putting on concealer like after my eye products. It's just that the eyeshadow sits well and like has a vibrant color if I put my um, concealer before as a base. So we have the next chit and the next product is a highlighter. Okay, cream highlighter it is then. First let's put it out. I want this to be a little uh, dark because I will be putting on foundation on top of this. So yeah, I'll just make sure that this is pretty dark here. Since it, you want it to show after you put on foundation and my foundation is pretty full coverage. Now I did put on a little more blush because I haven't moved on to the highlighter step yet. So yeah, a little more blush on the nose and yeah, I know I look weird, but let's just Wait till the end and trust the process. So for highlighter, I'm going to use the Pack Liquid Glow Highlighter. And uh, I'm a little bit unsure of this. The only reason being that this has like huge glitter particles. And I don't want those glitter particles to ruin my look. And I think I put a lot of it. I'll be blending it with my fingers. A little bit here as well I swear to you if this look turns out well like putting all these products before my foundation I am gonna continue doing that and I did put too much highlighter god can I go back oh god so the next product is God, no, it's a compact or a loose powder. This is what I was fearing the most. So for my compact, I'm going to use the Lotus White Glow Compact, Flawless Complexion Compact in the shade um, Rich Ivory. And I already know that this look is going to be a disaster because I wanted to set my foundation with the primer. Sorry, I wanted to set my foundation with the compact and now I can't do that. So there was this uh, like uh, base hack that I saw once on Instagram and it said to like put your loose powder before your foundation so that everything sets well but I don't I have never done that so I don't know if it's gonna work or not and I don't want my under eyes to crease after I put on my concealer so yeah I needed the compact or the powder for 
after my concealer but since we don't have a choice i'm gonna dust my entire face with this just a little bit not baking or everything i wanted to bake yaar okay i think that should be enough for the entire face so far it is not going how expected and it is not going well so yeah let's hope the next product like does something for me so next product is wow mascara does a lot right does a lot so for mascara i have the my glam twist it volume as you can curling mascara and this is the one you know this actually does nothing for the look right now but yeah it's not actually ruining ruining it so yeah i don't have that much of a problem with this one but i don't know once the concealer comes on if if the concealer comes on god is definitely not answering my prayers right now so yeah so yes shiny red disco ball reporting here with some beautiful lashes but still let's hope we get something nice this time uh, oh my god concealer so for concealer i'm going to use the la girl pro conceal hd concealer in the shade pure beige now i was going to use the pack one but the thing is that the pack one creases a little bit more than this one and i don't have a compact after my concealer so yeah there it is the pack one is a little bit lighter so i was looking for a brightening effect but anything works in current circumstances so now i'm just going to blend in the concealer so at this point i'm done with my concealer and let's just move on to the next product and it's foundation thank god thank god i have something to cover all this up So for foundation, I'm gonna use a mixture of my Deborah Dress Me Perfect and Milani Conceal and Perfect. I just hope this this foundation is not too, um, you know, full coverage so that it does not get rid of my blush. Otherwise, my face is gonna look. lifeless so yeah let's just hope for that it's a little bit for the neck so that it does not look a different color now just blending it out really well and making sure i don't lose my blush over here my little glow i think there's a little bit of uh, like the blush coming through not looking bad actually the highlighter though is not coming through but it's just gone So yeah the foundation is done and the blush did come through a little bit i think if i would have just applied a little bit more it would have come through beautifully this side is pretty light this side it's still there and on camera it is still pretty light but uh, in real life it is a little bit more than this but i would like a little bit more of it but since i can't do it now so yeah let's just move on so the next product here is Mm -hmm. eyebrows so yeah let's go in with the eyebrows i think this is a perfect time to do eyebrows so yeah i don't have a problem with that so for eyebrows today i'm going to use the faces canada all time pro get into shape brow kit this was actually a free product i did not buy it i don't buy uh, like a lot of brow products because most of the time i don't use them i just dust off the foundation and the powders with a spoolie and that is it Also guys with makeup it is pretty subjective to you what products you want to buy because since i don't really need a brow product if i thread my eyebrows i usually won't need any brow products but since i don't i just like to you know uh, like give it a little bit of shape sometimes that too i don't do it every time so yeah please don't buy the products that you don't need like for example many of you won't need concealer since you don't have any 
dark circles so don't buy them just because it's there in the market and people are using it just don't you don't have to use it if you don't need it so let's move on to the next product and the next product is now things are getting real it's a lipstick i'm putting on lipstick before everything else so today i'm going to use a combination of two lipsticks and both of them are from nika and are from the matte to last range the first one is in the shade madras kapi and that i'll be using in my like outer areas of my lips and the other one is bombay i have a mini of that one and that i'll be using in the center of my lips so yeah let's get to it now we're going to put the light one just in the center just to give it a little bit of ombre effect So done with the lipstick now the look already looks a little bit complete but yeah we know that it isn't let's move on to the next product and the next product is false lashes before i shadow what more could you want right so for falsies today i have the pack mink lash m72 and pack lash fixer this is a transparent lash fixer so we're going to apply a thin layer of lash glue more at the ends of the lashes i am not a pro at lashes yet but yeah now i've started to get the hang of it just wait for it to like semi dry semi dry this is going to be so weird doing my eyes after i put my lashes but let's just hope it all goes well so the lashes have dried to some extent and i'm just going to try to put it on i hope they're not like wet to wet there they go so yeah lashes are on without any eye shadow uh doesn't look weird but yeah not uh, my usual look but i can do this i think this is a nice look just the lashes just to you know um accentuate the eyes a little bit i'll just put on the other lash and then i'll move on to the other step so i'm done with the lashes on both my eyes and let's move on to the next step i just have three chits left i think one of them is bronzer and one of them is eye shadow and one is eyeliner i think so we have eyeliner even before eye shadow so for eyeliner i'm going to use the nika get inked eyeliner and this is a sketch eyeliner I'll just do my eyeliner off camera. I can't do it on camera, I think so. So I'm done with the eyeliner and honestly it turned out way better than I thought it would. But yeah, there are some issues here like there was this glue here and I could not put on the like eyeliner on that glue. But yeah, it turned out pretty well. So the next product and we just have two of them left. It would either be um eyeshadow or a oh, bronzer eyeshadow finally finally now i'm almost done with the look what would i do for eyeshadows but yeah i think i'm going i have a few things in mind so for eyeshadow i'm going to use my revolution beauty cranberries and chocolate palette and i'm going to be using the shade coco here this one putting it on my crease here this is actually weird putting on lashes and then doing my eyeshadow this is so damn weird and my brush had residual color from my previous look and now it is ruining things for me oh god here's the lesson from this one please wash your brushes you know the biggest problem that i'm facing right now is i have to blend my eyeshadows like this because i have my lashes on i feel like they're going to come off if i blend it like this so yeah that is pretty um uncomfortable now i'm using a fluffy brush here and using the shade the lighter shade tawny over here 
this is a light brown and just blending the edges so that looks a little bit more seamless i think so far it's going good i just have to get rid of this blue right here that i got from the let the residual color of my previous look from the previous brush that i used so this already looks much 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 more blended now i'm gonna go in with the color scorched here which is the darkest brown that we have more like a grayish brown uh it's on the way to uh, black actually and in we go I have kind of covered my eyeliner, but yeah, no issues here. So yeah, done with the darkest shade here. I'm just gonna blend it out with the lighter color, all of it, and then we'll be done. Mm, kind of basic, but yeah, it's fine. And it does not look bad, so that's a big plus here. Now I'm using the same cocoa shade uh, for my under eyes. So my eyes are done and we're just left with one shit and I don't think I need to even open this up but so it's just for the sake of it. Yeah, contour bronzer. Yeah, let's go with the bronzer now. So for bronzer, I have the Maya Glam Chisel Lit Kit, like the bronzing kit in the shade Face Value. I'm just gonna use a little bit of it because my blush is quite subtle and I just don't wanna, you know, neutralize it with a lot of bronzer. So yeah, let's keep it a little bit subtle yeah, today. The only problem that I'm facing right now is because I did not put any setting powder. After I put my foundation, my face is still a little, you know, st sticky. Not sticky, but it's not matte. So the powders are sticking. The only powder that I used is that is the contour powder. That is sticking to my face and I have to, you know, go in with my finger to blend it out. It is finally done. So yeah, I'm done with this look and what do you think about it? If you ask me, my personal favorite thing that was is the blush. The blush is like coming through very, very, very naturally and it does not look like something else has been put on. Though I would like to put on powder blush at this moment, but the thing is that you know i have a full face of makeup on so that is why i want more blush but if on a normal day i wanted a very subtle flush on my skin looks like something that is very natural i would definitely definitely go for this because it's just so glowy and it just looks so natural the worst part about this was i would definitely use a powder after i put my foundation or concealer because see my under eyes have already started creasing up and I am not liking it. And I would do nothing, nothing close to this on my eyes because I follow a particular order and that order works for me and this does not work for me and this will not work for anyone else out there. So please don't try it. So the order goes like concealer, eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara and then falsies. So yeah, that is my order and that's how I'm going to do it. And I'm not going to change it again, ever. The thing I was okay with is the lipstick and the eyebrow products. Like, well, it was fine. But I would like to apply my lipstick in the end because I've already done my eyes and I can, you know, balance out my lipstick and eyes. Right now, the look is very, very, very neutral. So yeah actually i had decided what i would was gonna do with my eyes so that's why i took out the same lipstick but at times you don't know what you want to do with your eyes so i would do my eyes first and then my lips yeah and the video has been pretty long i think so yeah with that i'm gonna end my video please let me know what you would like to watch next i will come up with a few fun ideas myself and please comment down if you want to see me do something else some other challenges some product reviews some tutorials Anything you want, just comment down and I'll be happy to do it. And last but not the least, like this video, share this video and subscribe to my channel because it means the world to me and it gives me so much motivation to do more and to bring out like the best of content. And yeah, I enjoy doing it when my work is being appreciated. 
So yeah, that is it. Bye. I'll see you next time.